Okay, I, I think we should actually start. We have a session which is called 5 to 12, and I would like this very particular session to actually start to begin on, uh, on time so that it makes sense. And hence, um, I would um, suggest that we also start the very first session, my introductory note, to this Congress on time, despite the fact that um, I can't actually use the comment that I was going to use to start off with by saying there are more people in this room than um, at the ITB 50 years ago. It's not quite true, the, the room is not quite, hasn't quite filled up, but um, there is some hope. The gates are still open and people are drifting in. So let's see what happens. Anyway, I would like to very warmly welcome you to the ITB's Congress, and it is my pleasure to open this particular session, the destination day one. My name is Rupert Holzapfel, and I will only, in inverted commas, moderate the sessions. So the important people on this particular day will follow. Nevertheless, as a short introductory note, I would like to highlight some facts regarding the history and the historic development of the ITB, since this is a very special ITB. It's our 50th anniversary, and I think it is fair to say that um, we have really grown exponentially since 1966, when we started with nine exhibitors from five countries and 250 trade visitors. You might have read that already in the news clip that most of us will re have received on their uh, mobile phones. Even back then, the convention program was offered, but it consisted of only four hours in one auditorium. And that has changed. That has changed quite dramatically. Nowadays, it, I think it's actually quite difficult to choose which session one would like to attend because there are so many parallel sessions which are all pretty interesting. So 10 years later, so after 10 years, the program had extended to two full days and today the program takes place in nine different auditoriums during three full days, which makes a total of 385 speakers plus the moderators. Actually, um, sometimes I will moderate the moderator, who will then moderate the panel session, but um, you'll get the hang of that. Listen to this quote from a press release. Since 1966, the ITB, as a pioneer and leader in the tourism industry, has always been one step ahead. Visionary thinking and the recognizing trends has been the ITB's formula for success from day one. Let me give you five examples to show you how accurate this statement actually is. In 1965, there is a letter in the archives of the Messe Berlin stating how senseless a tourism trade show would be, that there was absolutely no need for it. Interesting. But nevertheless, the persistent management team then was able to pull it off, and one year later, the first ITB was born. The great success of the ITB today, as the world's leading travel trade show, I think, demonstrates really how important visionary thinking was even back then. In 1981, so 15 years later, the ITB was an information technology pioneer. They introduced what was then called BTX. I can't even remember that one. But it was an interactive video text information system. Maybe there's a person amongst us who remembers in 1981 that particular system being introduced. I can't. It wasn't until two years later, though, that BTX was introduced nationwide. Yeah. Then in 1984, the ITB proved to be an impulse for innovative developments again in other subjects. For example, a special exhibition was held for alternative tourism and accessible tourism products. That was a long time before our modern terminology, for example, the megatrend sustainable tourism development was introduced. Then in 2008, the explorer and innovator Bertrand Picard from Solar Impulse was our keynote speaker on the topic solar energy as a renewable energy source for aviation. 
As a reminder, in 2007, the documentary An Inconvenient Truth, which all of my students have to actually watch during their studies, if they haven't done so in their private time, by the former US presidential candidate and Vice President Al Gore, former Vice President, obviously, won two Oscars and is considered a breakthrough in the global climate change debate. And yes, I know it's a contested, a contested documentary, but um, I think it's quite true to call that particular one visionary. A year later, the ITB, as the first travel trade show, addressed the topic of solar energy in the travel industry. Well, I'm not going to bore you too long with the history of the ITB. In 2016, the ITB is, though, the global trade show to present the humanoid robot Chiriakani. Does anyone know how to pronounce that one properly? Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to actually see that fellow. And that leads us to our today's ITB convention. And now it is my pleasure to introduce the Minister of Tourism from the Maldives to say a few greeting words to us. Musa Sambir is currently the Minister of Tourism in the Maldives and he was appointed to the position in October 2015. He entered politics in 2007 as a member of People's Alliance and worked as deputy leader of the party. Musa Zamir worked in retail and wholesale industry from 1996 to date in various capacities, starting from the operational field to management and government and oversight roles. Extensive experience in startups and contributions in the Maldives Chamber of Commerce as an executive committee member to promote and educate local business. Musa Zamir com completed his Bachelor of Arts degree in business management from at the University of Sunderland in the UK in 2009 and studied for his Master's in Business Administration at Cardiff Metropolitan University in 2011. I would like to welcome the Honorable Minister and to come to the podium please to address the convention. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and a very warm welcome from the sunny side of life, the Maldives. It is an honor and a great pleasure for me to be standing here in front of your honored guests in this very special gathering to rep represent my country as a partner, the Maldives. The occasion becomes extra special as we are celebrating two very important events, the Golden Jubilee of ITB and the Visit Maldives Year 2016. Esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to humbly recall the journey of our beautiful island destination. We, we were ready for celebrating our Visit Maldives Year 2016. I must reflect the look back and the journey to the success we are celebrating today. The Maldives that started tourism is just two resort for some decades ago, has come a long way and become an internationally renowned luxury holiday destination. Today we have more than 600 establishments with over 34,000 beds, receiving more than a million international tourists each year. While one third of the country's economy is driven by tourism, it is also the main source of foreign currency in the Maldives. It has been a great journey of success, and all my appreciation goes to the pioneers of the industry for their confidence, vision, dedication, and leading us to where we proudly stand today. Our official destination promotion started with ITB Berlin Fair in 1983 with a small stall. We have come a long way since then. Our stand at ITB today has become one of the major attractions of ITB 
Berlin. As part of Visit Maldives Year 2016 activities, attractive, colorful performances will be carried out to showcase our country. I'm pleased to announce that a special discussion on tourism and driving force for environmental sustainability in the Maldives will also take place at the ITB. We recognize the importance of our natural assets and need for conservation and management of these resources for sustainable tourism. That is why, from the very early stages of development, Maldives has placed emphasis on planning and regulatory, regulating the industry. The Maldives is a great success story of how small island state, against all odds, established itself among the elites in the tourism sector. And no doubt, Germany has been an integral part of our success. We have showed that the sound policies and vision we can achieve the aspiration of our people, make their lives better and bring prosperity to our nation through sustainable and well-managed tourism. Before I, I conclude, I wish ITB Berlin 2016 success and thank the ITB management for the support and cooperation extended to the Maldives on this special year. A great applause to my colleagues in the industry who is the team behind the success of the destination Maldives. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to join us in our celebration and the event here at our stand at the ITB 2016. Thank you very much.